As you know, we have a presidential candidate that is a daughter of immigrants, a person of color, and a woman. And what I am observing, and I know this has been happening for a while, but I'm observing that there is a normalization of misogyny that's going on. So in my presentation, I want to bring it to, I'm going to bring it to the attention of the people attending this online meeting, and I'm going to use my platform to bring attention to mis that tolerating misogyny is unacceptable. That's pretty much it. Um, so let me read to you because it's easier to, to convey what I'm trying to say. As I see attempts to normalize misogyny, I saw the need for me to learn more about its roots and how to overcome it. I would like to briefly share a few quotes from Cornell philosopher, Professor Kate Mann. There's a tendency to define misogyny as deep hatred in the heart harbored by men towards girls and women. I define misogyny as social systems or environments where women face hostility and hatred because they are women in a man's world, a historical patriarchy. When people are attached to positions they believe are their birthright, you get huge amounts of backlash. When men think women are taking opportunities and privileges away from them, when they think women are challenging male dominance, you get backlash. But we have to deal with that. Women cannot and should not internalize patriarchal values and give and give and give until we're nothing. What would need to change is for men in positions of power to accept that women can surpass them without having wronged them. Um, again, that's uh, Kate Mann. She's a Cornell University philosopher professor, and I got that from an interview she did up with Vox.com, March 7, 2020. Um, so that's pretty much the gist of what I'm getting at. Please join me in speaking out against misogyny. Remember, true patriots defend democracy, equality, and human rights for all. Thank you for your time, and we are not going back.